I'm Thomas, my name is Susan, here with Green Boxing and Channel E, suited and booted. It's funny how we're doing today. I'm good though. Good. Um, obviously you've got Martin fighting um, next week and to go for the title fight. How are you sort of feeling ahead of it? Yeah, I, I heard Martin saying he's feeling good, that's the best he's been, but this is the best camp we've ever had. Yeah. Uh, we've had a wee bit prolonged uh, training, I break up game breaks because we had uh, three or four call-offs, you know, so uh, it a wee bit disruptive, but I've got him now and he's, he, he, did, he did his last spell uh, last night and he was excellent, you know, so yeah. everything's, everything's really went well, you know. Um, obviously we were sort of chatting there before, but um, change of opponent, how much does that sort of impact you, um, like with your preparation for the fight? Uh, we, we change uh, the preparation, obviously. Stuart, Stuart Burke was his opponent, the uh, original opponent, and Stuart would uh, like to come and have a wee go, you know. Uh, we, we, we prepared for that, you know. Ali, a beautiful mover, nice mover. Uh, so we prepared for that as well, you know. So uh, we prepared for everything, you know. We, we, we sparred away, come head fighters, boxers. Even spot with South Paws, with Spud with them, you know, just give them a, a big variety of just confidence, <laughs> everything, man. Just in case somebody else. Aye, aye, aye. Just in case, then they'll happen, you know. We've trained for about four or five different opponents, you know, so yeah. we're, we're ready for anybody right now, man. Anybody at all. Um, how have you found sort of the last year, sort of, I guess, obviously, we have to pick Martin up every so often, but. Yes. Um, yeah. And, it, it's really, it's really hard as a, as a coach. It's, it's really difficult as a coach when, when the, you know, when promoters or some say, "I've got you somebody else," you know, and then they pull out and they've got you somebody else. They don't realise that, that all the emotions the boys are going through, the boxers are going through, and you've got to pick them up, and you've got to convince the boxer they've got to give you a hundred percent. They can't. Uh, I'll just get through it and it's somebody else going to pull out. It's, you know, if you've not been a boxer or you've not been a coach before, people just don't understand, you know. It's trying to get the boy to give you 100% every time. It's, and thankfully, mum's got the right attitude and it is, you know. I've, I've trained with other boys before and they have been missing. They'd have been, they have been away for two or three weeks at a time, you know, but mum stopped waiting. I had to have a wee talks with him and a couple of times his head was really down but we had a couple of wee hard to hard talks and uh, he's back, he's back here and that's him ready, ready to go. He's, uh, I wouldn't like to begin in the ring with him though. He's one good, you know. Um, how do you see him sort of doing in the fight? Oh, uh, definitely, definitely. Everyone goes to plan him. It'll be a good one. You know. I don't see you going the distance, you know. Uh, so that's if it goes to plan. How it goes to plan, you know. Um, how have you found sort of Martin since he's started out as a pro? How have you sort of seen the, the changes? Or? Oh, there's massive changes in him. You know, the, the, most boys will change him from their amateur to the pros. Although I've seen some pros are just the same as they were as an amateur. Uh, but, but we've got him doing a few other things now. He's vastly improved, you know. Once you either hand, doesn't matter if it's long, medium or short, he, he can do it, you know. But there's stuff we can improve on which he will get better on, you know. Uh, but he's punching, punching power. Uh, everybody knows it. He spars with him, you know. They'll, they'll tell you, you know. He can, he can punch a bit, you know, so I'm looking forward to this fight, really, really ready for this fight, you know. Yeah. Um, where do you see him sort of having the edge in the rally? I mean, Ali's a good mover, you know, but, you know, the, 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 the one of the old boxers, he, he can run, but you can't hide, you know, there's no place to hide, you know, you know it's a 10 rounder, and uh, it's a long time. The fun is that the Ali's got is the he's been the distance a few times, you know, he's two cracker fights with Stuart, 
je ne pas. Et euh, il nous a dit, la sonne est venue à chercher, et Alice Gaud, et il est venu à la sonne, et hopefully, il est venu à la sonne. Comment vous avez trouvé le prize de la game? Vous avez joué beaucoup avec les amateurs, 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 You know, the mood man, the boxer, the boot, the mood man, the bed, the club, proper, the young people, you know, with, with manners and the bad discipline, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a boys or girls, you know, the, everybody's got manners and they've got the bad discipline, you know, so I, that's a good part of that. I'm involved with uh, the Scotland team uh, as well, you know, so uh, we're getting a group of young uh, school, school boxers, boys and girls ready to go. Uh, go down to England, get books for the, the British titles, you know, so they're all excited as well. I've got to come up and I've got on the 31st of the week Friday, so uh, things, are, things are going good. Well, busy man, obviously, like, yeah, yeah, the job as well. Keeps you in your toes, isn't it? Yeah, this, this, <laughs> right, you know. Good stuff. Um, well, listen, thanks for your time and no uh, best of luck uh, next week. Anything. Cheers.